all become very fond of uh, seeing these uh, aircraft over the last few years. This one, of course, is named Malcolm, and I'm told by the air crew that it's named after Malcolm Young. Uh, from ACDC. This air crane here with every load that it takes together with the time that it takes for fire trucks to get back and reload it has the uh, capability of five large uh, tankers in moving water to the scene of a fire. It's five tankers all in this one uh, aircraft. The capability is absolutely astounding. And the likes of Malcolm are a key asset, a specialised asset, high capacity resource uh, that can augment that uh, aerial fleet uh, and support our firefighters in protecting communities across New South Wales. What? Let's not forget, aircraft don't put out fires, firefighters put out fires, but the likes of Malcolm is a key resource to assist firefighters in doing that and to assist in providing that key protection uh, to local communities. Australia, typically, the, the fires are, are far more volatile than they are any place else that we fight fires. You've just got fuels with uh, high oil content, and once they get going, then it's, it's a big job to get them stopped. So that's, that's the beauty of an aircraft that'll handle 9,000 litres right off the gate. The air crane, for a number of years, held the uh, time to 10,000 foot climb record, and we were beat out by the F-15 Eagle uh, a few years back. So it, it'll climb quite quickly. Now the Minister and I have been very loud and clear it is a wake-up call that the fire season is with us. Uh, the fire of yesterday simply reinforces that message and we need everybody to do their part. They need to prepare themselves and their family and their property now uh, and know what it is they're going to do in the event that they're threatened by fire this season. A key to that is the bushfire survival plan. Log on to the RFS website, download and complete a bushfire survival plan so you know what you need to do now and what it is you're going to do in the event that you're affected by fire this season.